Hello, my beautiful peeps, locking down the truth with Marcy Block. So I was headed out of LA this morning and I had an experience that's so simple and yet it is such a powerful truth of what shifted my life. So I called down to Valet and said, hey, could you guys pull my car up? I'm, I'm headed down. I get down there, the car's not there. My, my uh, you know, SUV isn't here. And, um, and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and the guy comes up and he's like, hey, your, your vehicle, the battery was dead, so we're, we're hurrying, we're, 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 we're getting it up here. I'm like, cool. And um, now as time goes on and I'm waiting, 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 then they finally get it up. Right when he turns off the key to even get out, my car is dead again. And as I'm sitting there, my thoughts in my head are uh, now, uh, you know, mm, must be that I'm meant to be, you know, waiting. It must be that there's something for me to experience. That there's this is the perfect timing for all things. So I'm totally chill and totally at peace. I actually have a, um, a yoga class that I rocked out my workout this morning, and and then you know got to set out some intentions, do my meditation, and I'm like have an intention to go create uh, a couple things before yoga class before I head back and be completely present, get to just play with my kids, and even I'm just like knowing that even if it shifts my timing, I'm like, all things work out perfectly for me because I know that how I choose to respond in the moment is what I'm asking for next. Now, this was not the past experience of my life when I lived out of victim, you know, seeing the bullshit, seeing the weeds instead of the roses. It was like, ah, uh, you know, uh, uh, frustration and, and focused on time or any of these things that are just like taking you out of presence of experiencing your life and asking for what shows up next. So, this was a, a big thing for me in the past when I started to recognize that whatever you know thoughts I chose to focus on was how I was gonna feel and then how I was obviously the energy that I was putting out and what I was looking for in life the good or the bad and then that is what I would experience and I remember uh, one of my first speaking gigs um, getting asked to speak and it was like an hour and a half drive away and I uh, ended up getting done super late at night and maybe like two hours away and there was this crazy storm as when I lived in Utah you know back in the day when I first started this crazy storm and I was like in a, you know a, a little skirt and high heels or something like to that effect and I remember um, you know realizing that I got to get off the freeway and get gas in my car and you know I'm I'm like okay like I, I'm warm I'm warm and I jump out and I, I go to get gas in the tank and for whatever reason that little tank thing or whatever wasn't pumping gas so I go inside and they're like huh that's so weird like you know move up to the next one let's try the next one due to the next one same thing it was where they're like this was working for everybody else and my thought was at first it was like are you serious it was like 12 to 1 in the morning and I knew I had like my time period driving was almost double or quadruple you could say because it was going so slow because of the snow and the storm and um and I remember being like well you know what I'm obviously meant to be here at this time for a reason meaning this is keeping me safe, it's keeping me from an accident, it's keeping me off the road at a certain time. I just started to choose to trust that whatever is, is in this moment, whatever I've attracted and created and, and I'm in, and so what's the feedback of it? And even choosing that is like, I'm so grateful that I'm always safe and that, you know, I know that I'm, 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 you know, here in this moment where I'm being withheld for a couple minutes for the perfect reasons and I just choose this happy attitude and I jump back on the freeway. and. I don't know why I mean I arrived home safe so I'm assuming it was to keep me safe that it was to keep me off the road at a certain time there was lots of slide offs and lots of accidents and by retraining my mind to look for what I want to see the good in all things everything just effortlessly works out so of course like they're like hey I'm gonna take off all the days of you know it could have been that they left a light on and it went dead it could just be that my vehicle went dead and I'm so grateful what I thought is like oh I'm so grateful that these guys are you know you know willing to assist me and just fix my vehicle or get it up and running again and the guy's like I'll take off all the days of of you know of, of uh, the payment or whatever for the the ballet and he's like thank you so much for being cool with this and sorry that it took so much time I'm like I'm like dude thank you so much for getting my vehicle to start and I handed him a massive ass tip more than all the days of what the you know valet etc would, would have combined i didn't give a fuck that they were going to take off or you know the days of the valet because i wasn't bothered life is peace and flow and when you attuned to like you know my life is peace and flow that's the most you know that's the, the greatest thing i can give myself is being in happy peace and flow and whatever is because that's what gives me the next thing that comes to me which is awesomeness so how you choose to respond to anything the smallest little things is how you get the big ass awesomeness in your life this is Marcy Lockerman, and you have choices yours. Choose best life.
lock it down.